Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers, and I'm walking over here where my sweet, tiny, little 110-pound puppy Dot is waiting for her treat. There she is. This is a sweet girl today. She's already been out, and she's getting her favorite peanut butter with sinus medicine inside. And I hope that you're in a good place today. Today is the last day of May. Uh, as May has just flown by, and uh, we are uh, facing the month of June tomorrow into the summer months, even though summer isn't officially here yet. Uh, it sure feels like it here in Houston because it's hot and muggy. And uh, uh, this is also on the church calendar, and the reason that I'm here is it's the feast day of the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary to her elderly cousin, Elizabeth, who was also conceived, also was uh, pregnant with child. Uh, we pick up the story in Luke chapter 1 today, uh, just after the archangel had spoken to, to Mary, who was probably 14 years old at that time. We don't really know for sure, but she was very young. And the archangel told her that she would conceive and bear a child who would be Christ the Lord and that he would be mighty and powerful and uh, that uh, the Holy Spirit would come upon her and overshadow her and the child she would conceive would be of the Holy Spirit and would be Christ the Lord. And uh, Mary, of course, gave her fiat. She gave uh, her assent to that. And there's no way that this, this young uh, Jewish girl could have understood what the Archangel Gabriel was uh, asking of her. Uh, and we don't have to understand, but she believed in the story. And, and the, the important lesson that has always been there for me is that it's a belief that is more important than understanding. Jesus said uh, that, uh, come, come unto me all you that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you, give you rest. We don't know how he does that, but we believe that he will. Uh, when in John 3, 16, it said, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, it doesn't say, understands him, will have everlasting life. No, it says whoever believes in him. And so Mary believed, and she said yes. Now the lesson for today is immediately after that, the angel said to her there at Nazareth in her uh, uh, father's house, uh, on the side of the, 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 the hill in uh, Nazareth, uh, said that this will be a sign so that you will know that this is true. Uh, your cousin Elizabeth, who was said to be barren, is now six months pregnant. And so then we pick up the lesson for today, where it says Mary got up with haste and went to, to the hill country in Judea to visit uh, Elizabeth. And in, during that amazing encounter, uh, Elizabeth says, Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And who am I that the mother of my Lord should come to me? And blessed is she who believed that what the Lord said would come to pass. So Elizabeth throws out double blessings upon Mary, who arrives in the hill country. And the, the two words in the Greek language that, that Luke used uh, in that little passage, uh, metaspudis, means with great haste. After the angel had told her about the sign that her cousin Elizabeth was pregnant, she left with great haste. She went forthwith. She went suddenly. She went in a big hurry. So excited was she about what had happened in the life of Elizabeth. So her thoughts at that moment that uh, she uh, was uh, given the, 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 the holy child within her, her thoughts were of her cousin Elizabeth. And so we remember the Feast of the Visitation today and the song that's going through my mind is from our first lesson at Mass from Isaiah chapter 9, the first song of Isaiah, uh, which... Uh, uh, it's a beautiful song, actually composed by Jack Noble White.
blessed day today, and God willing, God, and I will see you tomorrow on June the 1st. God bless you.